When my immaculate heart was pierced with a sword at the presentation of my son in the temple, it was for the realization of this mystery of the purification of the world that God wanted to prepare me. So in the ardency of my love for you, I came down to this land of Ecuador to ask one of my daughters to offer herself in reparation for your century of vices. Five times, in five different ways, you lost the image of my son in your soul. Up to five times the light of your sanctuary has gone out, the light that I had placed in your heart at your baptism. That light was Jesus. What have you done with the faith, with this free gift that I gave you? It was enough for you to study and above all to pray, to make yourself small so that I could make you live from what my divine son taught you through his church. But you, child of modernism, you reject, you doubt, you make relative, you corrupt your intelligence into which I had infused the faith. Worse, you teach others your skepticism and your liberalism. What have you done with your spiritual life, with your intimate relationship with my son? This vocation to holiness, this desire for perfection, you have stifled it. You neglect prayer and silence. Your soul has become a marketplace where my son finds only condemnations and reproaches under the pretext of helping human works. Child of liberalism, you like to transform these supernatural desires for grace into a simple search for the purely sensitive extraordinary. Worse, you stifle this light by the darkness of spiritualism, charismaticism, and other devilish cults. What have you done with your own body? Child of sensuality, you perverted your senses, your limbs, you allowed your wounded nature to dominate, and your body, which I had transformed into a temple of the Holy Spirit, fell into corruption. Your thoughts turn continually towards what fills your senses, under the pretext that you should not see evil everywhere. Worse, you cooperate by your silence with the impurities of others, or else you accuse God of having created men in corruption against nature. What have you done to the weakest and the most innocent? This love for children, for the innocent, you have lost. The child has become your toy, the instrument of your whim, and when you don't want it anymore, you throw it away, you break it, you ignore it, you kill it by your evil teachings or by your actions. You neglect his education, you entrust him to foreign hands to have peace. In reality, you hate your own flesh and you commit infanticide. Worse, you think that having a child is a right for everyone whereas life is a gift from God. What have you done, finally, towards your persecuted brothers? Well-being, comfort, health, meals, parties, pleasures, vacations, as many words as I can find on your busy agenda. Yes, you are dizzy with pleasure. You surround yourself with noise and occupations. But even through your bursts of laughter and your makeup, I see this despair that gnaws at you. So I send you my poor and my persecuted, hoping in turn to get you out of this inertia that devours you. But you only answer me with this icy indifference, this blasé and apathetic look, 
that kills more surely than the most atrocious persecutions. The silence of rich people themselves, the silence which suddenly stifles in your heart any defense of the truth. So these are the five reasons why the light of your sanctuary has gone out. It is through these very serious sins and failings that Jesus is crucified and put to death in your sanctuary. However, I know that some of you will not believe my alarm. So look for yourself and say to them, Listen to the hard beating of my heart in the face of the atrocities of your century. What I have shown you about your soul has spread all over the world, even into the church of my Son. The sacraments instituted by my Divine Son, no one values them any more. Unhappy children of this time, they rarely receive the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, penance, and the Holy Eucharist. Oh, how it pains me to tell you that there are many and enormous public and hidden sacrileges. But what hurts me the most is that the clergy are not fulfilling their sacred duty. Losing the divine compass, priests and religious deviate from the path of priestly ministry laid out for them by God and devote themselves to money. What makes me suffer the most is this cold indifference of priests towards the Eucharist and those who consider confession as a waste of time. Yes, truly you are in these unhappy times when those who should fearlessly defend the rights of the Church now reach out to her enemies and carry out their orders. My child, times are short always hurry towards me with faith and love, for it is my desire to live with you and in you. By the grace of my Immaculate Conception, re-enkindle the fire in your heart before it is too late, and, so that you don't get discouraged from seeing your misery exposed in this way, I have given you an image of myself, reserved especially for your century. Take refuge in it, and I promise you the success of your purification. Ave Maria, 